from the standpoint of observation. Then, we must regard it as a highly probable hypothesis that the beginnings of the mental life date from as far back as the beginnings of life at large. Now, there are a very large number of bodily movements having their source in our nervous system that do not possess the character of conscious actions. Some say that everything that is called a psychical law is nothing but the psychological reflex of physical combinations which is made up of sensations joined to certain central cerebral processes. It is contradicted by the fact of consciousness itself which cannot possibly be derived from any physical qualities of material molecules or atoms. Psychology, on the other hand, seeks to give account of the interconnection of processes which are evinced by our own consciousness, or which we infer from such manifestations of the bodily life in other creatures as indicate the presence of a consciousness similar to our own. Contractile movements arise sometimes at the instigation of external stimuli, but sometimes also in the absence of any apparent external influence.